everybody. So now. Hey everybody. Uh, I am Admiral Newkirk. And I am Anacreon. Guest casting. And we're going to be casting Game Six of the HSSTL Round One between Kids Jiba doing his trademark two four split, and uh, Obsidian, I believe, doing no split. This is, or pardon me, Game Six. Bleh, I can't speak. Uh, so in this series, we have seen such great things as uh, the quadruple proxy hatch, the um, <laughs> the four lone SCVs sitting at the watchtower covered in creep for politeness. Yep. Uh, we have seen someone over abuse counterattacks, amazingly, uh, and we have also seen the glorious uh, the glorious ornamental forge. So this is game six with Evanston on the brink of elimination. Yep. Can Dan Lee continue his absolutely Cinderella run through the Evanston line? I would Ju call this Cinderella run. I I'm trying like to be a... dramatic here. <laughs> we find out here on Admiral Newkirk's channel. So uh, to start off, the Protoss is just doing the normal I'm trying to think of a more appropriate analogy, like... Uh, steamrolling? Yeah, yeah, steamrolling sounds uh, good. Obliterating? Yes. Uh, rapage? <laughs> uh, Might go a little far there, I don't know. Um, well, yes, because he's not taking the wins, he's grabbing... Uh, you know what, this he's is get firmly grasping the wins. He's firstly, he's firmly grasping the opponents and squeezing every last drop of win right out of them. Yeah, a little bit of that. Uh, now... <laughs> Stealing some minerals. Now Obsidian grab, oh, oh, grabbing yeah. a mouthful of minerals, which is a good trick. Not right, only... Right, not, can pass through not only is it slightly annoying, it also lets you phase through units. So why have the potential of losing five of your minerals? Why not just steal five of theirs? In the meantime, uh, Kizdiba going pool gas. Now... This is, uh, Obsidian is probably the highest ranked player on the Evanston team, and we see it right now. We're just seeing an overall sharpness to his play. Everything's crisp, everything's purposed. For example, he grabbed the minerals, now he's blocking the hatch. I like this a lot. Now, do you know that you can't patrol spin units anymore? Oh, yeah. Isn't that sad? I about that. Uh, good, good overlord placement here by Kids Jiba, and we are seeing, uh... I sort of managed to with the other day, but I No, uh, no saved chrono boost, which means... We aren't expecting a um. We aren't expecting anything too crazy here. Uh, hmm, mm -hmm. This probe is doing a good job of actually preventing the expansion for a pretty long time. You should probably put up production or something. Yes, thank you. I always remember. I always forget to put up tabs early. We're seeing Queen and two Zerglings. Two Zerglings to chase away the poor little probe. Hi, Mr. Pro. Hi, Mr. Pro. When does stuff pro be adorable? Oh yeah. Look at him. Hey, I'm so happy to have my minerals and summoning energy through it. Stuffed drone would be pretty cute, too. Uh, as, as what a stuffed hydralisk. I don't know if a stuffed baneling would be good, because it would explode and cover you with acid. No, no, you have to get a fruit gusher baneling. <laughs> no. Uh, anyway, back at the base, we are seeing... Oh, two gate. Uh, now, if you guys want... Uh, to... And Akron, do you think this would be a good idea? I watched this game live, and if you want, I can give you my thoughts on what I saw during the game. Okay, sure. Uh, at this point, I was feeling... First off, save Chrono Boost. Second off, two. I was feeling early gateway pressure. I was feeling four or five gate. And now, actually, in the chat, everyone disagreed with me. Everyone was like, no, it's three gate expand. But something just seemed four gatey about this to me. For one, hiding the gates back here. If you wanted a three gate expand, you would show them up front. The other being the save Chrono Boost. Uh, looking at Chrono Boost, uh, and he's actually doing a really good job here of saving just enough Chrono Boost for it to be like for it to be potentially different um looking at chrono boost is one of the few ways early on that you can tell exactly what a protoss is doing because every single protoss on earth opens gate core second gas like that's the only thing you do gate core second gas or you can go forge fast expand but that doesn't really work as well and look at that i was right that is four gates Good spread by him, however an overlord will come in and scout this gateway, and the only reason for it to be over here is a 4 gate. Uh, and the probe doing a cool placement of the pylon here. And so, uh, I don't know, is Dan going to be able to hold? That is a very good question. Uh, the pylon, as I said, well placed, um, an interesting spot to put it, and he might actually expand before pushing out, which would be very smart. He's going almost entirely sentries. So we get to see here, the Lucas, oh, and he's walling himself in. This is a 4 gate all in, folks. Not, um, oh, and he's actually telling, uh, he's actually telling Chris to leave right there. Um, this is a four gate all in. This isn't like a partial four gate or a four gate pressure. This is a four gate all in. He has walled himself off. He has brought along a probe. He could, he, he can't walk anything in at this point. He has mostly sentries. There is no going away from this. There, this is just as, if he, if this doesn't work, he's lost. 
uh, but because it's a tournament, he's going to try again. So, we see Dan making five roaches, and I would have liked to see that spine crawler just a little bit earlier, but the pile, he is going to have to wait for the pylon. The Zerglings already know about it. So. The Zerglings know about that, and he knows he delayed the push slightly because of the pylon, so it won't be as severe, and he actually is going to be scouting for the army there. Run away! Um, so, <laughs> look, at, look at our rooting interest, and actually, let's look at the uh, units tab. Uh, the circuit, the protest is actually up two probes, so because of that, this food advantage, or the foods are pretty much even. Decent force fields right there. He ISO'd the queen, which was good. Um, if this part had been complete, like, if he had completely blocked it there, that would have been good. And he is getting a closer proxy, uh, on. oh, good force field there. Uh, in fact, I, I would actually say great force field, but nope, that one wasn't good. That one allowed these four roaches to get full flank. And if, uh, he shouldn't have pulled back. If, if he had stayed in there, he could have killed those roaches and he could have won this game. But instead, he pulled back. He tried to save his units just a little bit too much. This is an all-in man. You gotta, you actually have to go all-in. Uh, these sentries should have thrown up their guardian shield uh, force fields. What are they going to actually do? Uh, he's trying to warp in a stalker, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. He is focus firing. This is going to be extremely close. He's keeping well out of range of the spine crawler, but then the spine crawler comes in and pokes. Um, the queen is coming. As is the Zerglings around, this looks like it might be enough. He's warping in a zealot, but the zealot is going to die before it's even there. He throws down one last desperation force field and actually manages to hold. No, I'm sorry, I was wrong. He actually manages to lose. The queen off a of creep, as Tom said, the saddest thing ever. And he retreats back. Fine salvation. He retreats back home with three stalkers, a one probe advantage, uh, having killed at least some of Kids Jeebus probes. What's the production tab? That so should be. Jeebus, is Kids Jeebus saying, oh, he doesn't have anything going over there now? Or? Kids Jeebus right now is saying, kill the pylon. Oh, he doesn't yeah. actually know whether he expanded or not. Cause this oh, did he just have to destroy his own pylon? Yeah, he walled himself in. Oh, because is that what you usually do in a all in? Or? If you go 48 all in, yeah. Okay. Um. Now, the thing is, Kid Jiva didn't... Because if he had an expansion up and running, then Kid Jiva was thinking, crap, that was great pressure. But considering the fact that he did go truly all-in instead of going for an expansion, Kid Jiva now knows, I've won this, and therefore he's going to isolate the stalkers with the, with the, uh, with the little Zergens there, bring in the roaches, and there's nothing sentries can do about, the, uh, about uh, Zergens on stalkers. This is a deciding game, so we're not going to quit too early, but that was really close for a little while there. I'd say it's this spine crawler and that the fact that he first off the fact that he pulled back ever so slightly if you guys wrong with the the fact that he pulled back ever so slightly with his forces good micro too uh, here by both sides but I just don't ugh goodness I'd like to see all these be four drones instead uh, and I'd also like to see kids Juba expand somewhere. But no, instead he's going to go for aggression because that seems to be his style. The fact that he pulled back ever so slightly after he had um, like all these units down, he could have focused fire down the roaches and been fine. And the fact that he missed the force field up here allowed the roaches to get a flank. So those two specific things, and, and the fact that the pylon was killed and it was scouted, of course. Uh, I like that pylon placement, though. Um, Protoss, I don't advocate that you foregate, but if you do foregate, I don't always foregate, but if I do, I put the pylon over here. That is what I would say. And he's putting down a an ornamental forge at this point. I mean, what's what's it gonna do besides sit there and look cool? But hey, maybe it's a shout out to Trilogy. Uh, he did cancel, so he did get his money back, uh, which is why his money is so high at this point. But it's really over. I mean, those are things to bring it for him. He's working in two stalkers, but it's just un it, it's not gonna do anything at this point. Few, 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 few are quite as well. The, the, the thing is, if I'm Kid's Jiba, he should be having his queens work on the rocks, or he should be breaking down something, or he should, he should be getting up to lair. Maybe Kid's Jiba is cut from this last game. Because there's no point, I mean, he's, oh, we see the GG right there. But even after you've won a game, there's no point in just sitting there and not doing anything. If he if he were working on the rocks with a few Zerglings, if you were putting an expansion down here, there'd be no disadvantage because he knows he's safe from pressure. You don't just have to put on more pressure. You can outproduce him with just half your larva and spend the other half on drones. Mm. It's important that after after you have and he's, his lair is about to finish, it's important that even if you're about to, um, yeah, even if you're about to win the game, not to let your macro and not to let your fundamentals slip. But that is just uh, something for next time. He still did win the game. Uh, this has been 
Admiral Newkirk. And the Necreon. And that was the entirety of the HSSTL Series 1 between Evanston and Hinsdale Central. Thank you for watching.